What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy GCA, aka Gotham, back at with another one. I'm here to do the review on the Pat Media cabinet. I just, right now it's in the box. And if you have not noticed, off to the your left, my right, <laughs> you basically see the Mortal Kombat Legacy. So I will be swapping the screens out in that in that cabinet and putting it into this one. Since they're both legacy cabinets and it does have a BOE in that um, MK2, and I already have pretty much the second generation of the MK2, and as well as if you not notice, I have an MK3 legacy, as well as the 30th, the 35th anniversary MK. I really don't need that cabinet, so I'm gonna take that monitor and do a monitor swap. And right now, I'm waiting for Joe Sable's marquee to show up. So we're going to be doing a lot of changes to this Pat Media cabinet. So I'll be right back at you with the cabinet setup. All right, so back at you again. So basically, we already set up the cabinet. The cabinet looks beautiful. Uh, I love the artwork on the Pat Media cabinet. You know, it has the, the crazy man and the what's happening. I like how it blends somewhat with the riser. Uh like the corn door, I look, this is my second corn door on it. I love the way the Pat Mania blends in with the, the back black round. But, uh, you know, we got the headphone jack. But there was two things I do not like about this cabinet. I don't like the the fact that the toggle switch doesn't stay on. It just like, it's kind of like, you know, it's not even in an off position. It's just in the middle of on and off. And I don't like this this marquee. It, it looks cheap. It looks real cheap. It looks like something. It don't look like the rest of the, the other marquees. I don't know what they were trying to do. It looks fake to me. It just looks like a piece of wood almost. Even though I know it has a light background in the back, but it looks like a real cheap piece of wood. So other than that, let's fire this thing up and let's see what we're playing with. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I loved... I love the, the way the control panel is. You know, I used to be in the arcade back in the day, and the control panel does fit the stemmings. Now, the as far as the, the bezel work, that's something to desire. That's something totally different. I've never seen that before. So I might, if you, if you comment and say this is part of the original Pat Media cabinet, please let me know that. So, But as far as I know, that's not part of it. So the marquee lights up. I remember being 3D, I remember it pops up out, out, out of you. So what I did was I went to a retro, uh, oh, yeah. not retro, Joe Sabo's, and I got me the original official marquee. So I'm waiting for that to come in, and let's, let's basically see what games is on here. So I'm not going to set up the online just yet, say no. So we got the Pat Mania for right now. We got Pac- uh, Pac-Man, we got Super Pac-Man, got Pac-Land, Pac and Pal, Pac-Man Plus, Gal uh, Galax Galaxian, uh, Galax Galaxian, Mappy, Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2, Rompers, Rolling Thunder, and Galaxian 88. So, I noticed that they'll have the settings on the side, so you can basically change and add lives, you know, you can... Get it so you get an extra live. You can change the difficulty. You can change the rounds. Like if you want to change rounds, you can basically turn it. You can do endless or ends it after seven rounds. I just left it on 19 because you know I got a pretty good skill set in this. Uh, you know, you got the level selection where you could choose the level you want to go on, the continues, the trap mode, the smoothie. I, I don't like the smoothie option, so I just left it off and the default options. So, being that on the screen next to you, when you go online, you connect onto the internet, and everybody that is on this cab that is live, basically the cabin is fired up, or is turned off and has a profile, they'll be listed down there. So, when I do the update, when I change the marquee out, and, this, and I have noticed, if you go to the side, look how terrible the washout is. It is horrible. Like, it is... Like, it really doesn't make sense to be that washed out. So I'm going to change out the marquee, change out the uh, monitor with the MK2. So hopefully that'll match up. Since they got a BOE in here, I'm going to basically 
add that into this cab. So I'm going to play my first game right now. And it's going to be the, the marquee game. So we got the control set up. So I'm going to start on stage one. I think they should have had a jump button on the other side for people that is left-handed. And if you not notice, like, as I'm sitting on to the side, it looks so washed out. Like, it looks like it's kind of moving portion. second game uh, you know I've never played Galaxian 88 so I'm gonna play that so I'm gonna pick the dual ship I heard this is like the up upgrade to Galaxian so I I'm pretty am a big fan of Galaxian Galag Galag Galagula or whatever Galaxian it is. So I know the next one you can allow to get captured. So I already got caught up already. I'm playing with everybody, so I'm not completely trash. <laughs> not like Defender. <laughs> Going with my last game, and I've never played Mappy before. A lot of people, you know, this is like a, a, hook, a underground classic. I have never played Mappy a day in my life, so this is going to be different for me. 
Uh, and I guess you go, you use the controller to go left and right, and you open the door with the the, the bounce button. So let's see. gist of it. I didn't think I did too bad, but could have did better. Pretty cool game. I can see a bunch of little kids getting into this. So I'm gonna come out of it. So that is the end of my review. So the knocks on this cab is definitely the monitor. The monitor is complete trash. I'm not going to lie to you. I think the marquee is complete garbage. Like, it, it came somewhat damaged on the top. Like, it, it didn't make sense. I didn't, I don't enjoy that. I think the cabinet is beautiful what it is. I think they did a great job on it. I think those are two factors that we need to get away from these TN monitors. And we need to get away from these trash marquees. This marquee should have never been built. It should have been built like the, the Turbo Street Fighter or like the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Like like good marquees. Like they need to put some effort behind it. So I am going to end it with that. And I'm going to just stop the video right now. But wait. There's more. Hang on to your seat, baby. Because this one's a screamer. I'll be back. All right, here, back with the second part of the video. Uh, if you not noticed, we got the Joe Sables marquee. It is looking beautiful. I just got it, and it looks phenomenal. Uh, check out, it got the arcade, you know, Atari, uh, Atari games in it, and it got the actual correct image. Uh, shout out to Joe Sable. Is a, he did an awesome job. The only complaint is, is that I felt like it took too long just to get it. You know, just for one uh, marquee. I didn't have to wait this long for everyone else, like Retro 530 or 99 Live Arcade, to get a marquee. And, you know, and, you know, Joe, I will say this if your item is sold out, keep it sold out until you make enough where when someone hops on your site, you have some available where you could go out the next day. So that's the only issue I have. But other than that, I appreciate it. And we have. The MK2 Legacy uh, monitor screen uh, is brand new. I'm just going to hook it up. So by when we come back on the video, you will see the transformation on the cabinet. Okay, we're back with the final conclusion of this video. We're looking at the Joe Sables marquee. It is looking awesome. It has the Atari logo in it. It has the correct artwork. RK one up take notes. Joe Say was doing his thing. Um, we're now. I, I'm gonna say a disclaimer for the screen. It seemed like my bezel is not fitted for the screen mod. It is either the bezel is too big, too small, 
and it's not sliding over where the rubber gaps is showing or the monitor might be too small and then I probably need a 19 inch but I like how it came out it totally squares up with everything lines up I didn't have any problem getting everything to fit inside and then it probably took me 10 minutes well it took me two minutes to take it apart I think I basically took the two screws off and then I just unscrewed the, the screws that were holding the monitor up and it just wedged out and when I did the marquee all I did was peel up the artwork and slide on a new one I think that's a much better way than most people ha actually did I know Michael B took his entire cab apart just to get the monitor out I think that was excessive I, it didn't take me that long to get it all out. It took me about 10 minutes to pull the monitor out. It was really easy. And once I put slide the monitor back in and screwed it back in, it only took me about three minutes to do that. So I don't know why everybody's taking the calves apart. I think we need to really think smarter, not harder. You know, work too hard to basically perform an initial task off. So I'm going to basically turn it on and we're going to fire this up and we're going to see how it plays out. Okay, so I'm going to play one game of Pat Mania, and I want you to tell the difference on the coloring for the monitor swap. Because I noticed in the original one, it was like a, it was, it was really bright. Like, it, like it was really bright on certain sides of it. And this one, it looks like the original coloring is not too bright. It is not all over the place. It don't look like it's so much going on in the monitor. I'm playing like trash right now. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm not play, I'm not gonna play my best. I just want to give everybody. That's me being too greedy. <laughs> so I'm gonna come out of this and I'm gonna play another game. I'm gonna play uh, Galaxian uh, 88. You can tell that it's not it looks, the colors look radiant, the gold, the blue, the black is not all over the place. I think this game don't get a lot of credit how awesome this game is. I would definitely recommend if anybody get this CAD, you need to get this, this game is awesome. I think the monitor came out really clean. I mean, it looks really clean. Yes, there's a cutoff on the top. I noticed that the, 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 the screen is cut off. I think it just, yeah, that's the bezel. So the bezel is not on there. It's not the correct bezel. So I might have to go and hit up someone and get the correct bezel for this screen. I'm gonna have to measure the screen all the way out. And make sure it looks really good. Take pictures. And hopefully I can get it correct. I think I'm going to have to correct that out. That way it can look like a, a great improvement. Okay, so this is the end of my, my video. I truly suck. <laughs> uh, 
I want to thank everybody for coming in and watching the entire video all the way through. If you like or dislike this video, please throw me a like for the algorithm. Please comment whether it's positive or negative towards the content. Please keep it towards the content. And this is your boy Got the Cities Arcade. And I'll be back with y'all with another video later on down the road. Peace.